Walker Memorial again with the experiment of qualitative analysis for identification of unknown uh, two. Uh, here, unknown two, we have like a, a limited list of possible samples for your unknown. It could be toluene, it could be two chloro um, toluene, three chloro or four chloro toluene, um, it could be two nitro toluene, or two xylene or a metal xylene. So we have a limited number. So we have only seven possible uh, compound that you're unknown uh, could be. So our experiment already, um, it's, uh, it's known with the, so our, the list of unknown is already known. The, the list that we should, your, your unknown is one of them is already known. Um, and if you look at these unknowns, they are all aromatic compounds with a side chain uh, with either two branches or one branch. So it's aromatic compound. So we don't have to do solubility for this experiment. So we're not going to do solubility for the experiment uh, because we already know that aromatic compound is not going to dissolve in water, hydrochloric acid or um, sodium hydroxide and, and uh, sulfuric acid. So it would be no solubility, so no, not soluble with all those, those uh, solvents. Then, uh, the uh, boiling point for liquid or melting point for solid. Um, based on the, the, the options that we have for the unknown, um, I also look for, the, look for the boiling point. If needed, we perform the boiling point. And if you watch the watch, make sure to watch the pre-lab discussions, read the experiment for the, the lab manual for this uh, introduction part of this experiment. Um, so you can save yourself some time. Why I'm trying to save you some time? Because the reflux for this reaction, especially like for toluene, is like one and a half hours. So the more time you can save, the better for you. Uh, so I'm just showing you some of the tricks. No need for solubility. That would be like a busy work. You don't have to do it. Uh, for a boiling point, you have to look at the, the table that you are going to prepare as a, um, as a pre-wrap um, requirement. Um, that instruction is given in the in the lab manual. So you find the uh, the, uh, the list of you list the chemical the seven possible um, compounds uh, or aromatic compounds with the side chain. And you find the molar mass for them. You find boiling point. You find uh, melting point for for corresponding oxidized product. So we are trying to use oxidation of a side chain reaction. Same thing we did for uh, experiment um, 12. Um, and uh, we are going to, to find out what is the melting point of the oxidized product and map it back to what you have for, the, uh, for one of the possible uh, items that we have on that, on that table. Now, let's say you find the melting point to be uh, 139 for the oxidized product, 139, uh, that could be like a three nitro toluene, or it could be uh, like two chloro toluene, uh, the oxidized product of those. If you check the boiling point for that compound and you determine the boiling point to be like 162, and that could be, uh, could be two chloro toluene or it could be three chloro toluene. And it's not going to help you. So you find the, the, the boiling point that is not helping you to discriminate or to narrow down, uh, skip the boiling point. But if you find a boiling point that is very different from others, and for that to figure out, you find you read the, the lab manual, and if you are face-to-face -face the class, uh, again, the instructor would explain it to you. Uh, or if you didn't get it, just measure the melting, measure the boiling point as well, if needed. So if it's not needed, do not measure the, uh, the boiling point. We'll also emphasize on that during our pre-lab um, discussion uh, video, which you need to watch it for better understanding of the purpose of the experiment and what needs to be done. So we don't measure uh, boiling point. We are not going to, if not needed, we are not going to do the solubility and uh, the next 
major step would be to oxidize the unknown. And when we oxidize the unknown, we are going to get a solid compound. Um, for the oxidation, uh, we are using permanganate in basic solution. Very similar procedure and setup um, like the experiment 12 because you did oxidation also there, but the purpose of the experiment is different here. So we are going to set up the reflux and measure the, the permanganate, measure the add the one milliliter of the unknown sample um, and uh, oxidize and reflux it for uh, one hour or to one hour and a half and make sure that some of the brown color does appear and uh, because if, if it's toluene or xylene, it would take longer than the nitrotoluene and chlorotoluene. And to be safe, you consult with your professor or uh, go for one and a half hour reflux at the you know, gentle boiling um, temperature. After, the, after the, the reflux, which at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and set up the reflux and um, add the chemicals and continue the reflux for one hour. But I'm just saying the steps after the reflux is complete, I would destroy the excess of permanganate if there is anything left uh, with the sodium thiosulfate and uh, crystallize my sample by um, after, then we do the uh, gravity filtration. We get the aqueous solution of the final product. And then by adding HCl, we get to the, we get to the um, precipitation. And those precipitate to complete precipitate in place in the ice bath. We do vacuum filtration and uh, you will see the, the, the crystals. For experiment 12, um, if you remember the video, I didn't do recrystallization of the sample. In this case, because it's identification, I wanna make sure that to identify and the melting point of the oxidized product, it could be only different by 10 degree uh, from one another. Uh, I want to have the most pure and dry sample. The sample must be pure. So I would recrystallize the sample with water and I would, as a solvent, choice of a solvent, and I would make sure the sample is completely dry before I measure the melting point because melting point now is a lot different. Before it was just confirming that reaction happened, today is going to tell us what is the, the unknown, uh, unknown sample. So uh, let's go ahead and set up our um, reflux and, uh, or, and measure the chemicals.